Hey, this is Martin from Abacus Whiskers, and this is a video to quickly give you an overview of our new Google Sheets Teacher Planner. It's the first in a series of videos that's going to each take a tab along the bottom and show you how you can edit it to meet your requirements. So this page here uh, is the, the, the first page that you'll see. It's got um, a sort of calendar overview running through to the end of 2023 although our monthly pages only run to the, the, the end of the academic year 2023. Um, these are all linked. Those will be all linked as well. You can enter your term dates and um, useful websites and logins. Uh, over here, these are links to the various key sections, uh, which are also down the bottom. OK, and uh, these ones are links through to the month views. And we'll see those in a second. We've included um, a number of stickers and we'll show you in a video how you can edit those, make use of those um, throughout the planner wherever you want them. With a week view, uh, we've this some people might use this for plotting out the planning for the for the week. You could include um, notes here, you could include links to documents, Google Slides, etc., uh, to planning documents, uh, all on here. Um, in those boxes you can edit this as much as you want you can change this however you want um, the dates are auto populated by whatever you put up here so what you put up here will populate those dates there so we've got first of august and let's change that to the first of september which i don't think is a monday this year but it will then populate it okay um, and if you don't need any columns you can just delete them there's to do's and notes as well um, this is our vertical version of the week view, exactly the same idea. Okay, uh, Some people prefer one and some will prefer the other. And you can just delete whichever one you don't want. You can delete that, the entire tab. The to-do list, you can type in whatever you want. Once you tick it off, it crosses it off and hides it a little bit. And we've even got emojis on the right hand side. Um, however you may want to use those or you might not a timetable again a bit like our week view we've got it in horizontal and vertical options um, we've included Saturday and Sunday but you can very easily um, just delete the columns from up there and everything will shift over and we've included on this one down to 11 lessons but again if you've only got six lessons select what you need and uh, De delete the cells okay uh, and they'll be out of your way now a vertical one works exactly the same but as the name suggests the days of the week uh, are uh, and the columns are all vertical okay so our assessment page um, allows you to write the assessment up here the date up here whatever you want and you can remove the class average and student average if you don't want them um, and you can just use this to track the scores it is pre-programmed to work out a child's average um, and then compare that against the class average and then if it's the same it's orange if it's better it's green and if it's below it's red but you can change that uh, and the assessment for each the average for each assessment is shown at the top okay but again I'll show you in another video how you can edit that our parent communication log fairly straightforward you can type in each of those boxes notes page has sticky notes built in in case you want to use those instead of writing on the lines you can drag them drop them copy paste um, whatever you wish so onto our month view every month is the same from july through to uh, 22 through to july 23 um, and it's formatted in exactly the same way space for your to do's with emojis, um, notes, emojis, goals, emojis um, are there. And like I say, every month is the same um, throughout. And that is a very whistle-stop tour.